Earlier this month, Amazon confirmed it had reached a deal with J.R.R. Tolkien's estate to expand the lore of the Lord of the Rings franchise in a new prequel series and maybe even a potential spin-off too. But, despite paying a rumored $200 million for the license to reboot the franchise, it seems Amazon did and to really face a whole lot of competition for the rights after all. Or, at least not from fellow big broadcaster HBO, at least. Advertisement continue reading below speaking earlier this week at Business Insider's Ignition 2017 media conference, HBO's CEO Richard Plepler made it clear that the network had absolutely no interest in bidding for the Lord of the Rings TV adaptation rights. Copyright, new line cinema-related Lord of the Rings TV show on Amazon Prime, Will Andy Serkis reprise his role as Gollum. I'd rather own our IP intellectual property 100%, Plepler said via Variety. And I'd rather have the ability to work with a product that is inextricably linked to our brand. He is, of course, talking about the huge, big-budget hit that is their own fantasy series Game of Thrones, which is soon to become a franchise of its own with several spin-off series currently in the early stages of development. So it looks like one high fantasy series featuring dragons and warring parties is quite enough for HBO, thank you. Copyright Hippo Amazon reached its multi-season production deal with Tolkien's estate, publisher HarperCollins and Warner Brothers New Line, and the publication notes that Plepler pointed out that both HBO and Warner Brothers are subsidiaries of Time Warner, so HBO is likely to benefit from the deal in some way after all. And, speaking of the huge costs involved in the deal, Plepler hinted that it's not actually all that big of a deal for Amazon. If I'm Jeff Bezos, that's monopoly money, he said. Copyright Matt Winkelmeyer GT Image Richard Plepler of and so, it looks like Plepler ISNT2 bothered about missing out on the series, adding that HBO is on track for their biggest year in history and that they have enough projects to be getting on with for now as well. The best brand ambassadors for HBO are the talent, he said, naming Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon's work on Big Little Lies among the examples. Well, that explains all that talk about a second season of Big Little Lies then, even if we don't particularly need it. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our Digital Spy Twitter account and you're all set.